You know what I'm saying? Me, all those executives up there, they they feed our children debauchery and filth. You know what I mean? They let them talk about everything. They let them talk about killing. They let them talk about gang. They you know they 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 promote gang. Uh, they, like they get a little Wayne three hundred million for putting a tattoo on his face and a red a red red rag in his pocket. They get Snoop Dogg hundreds of millions of dollars of screaming bloods and crips. I mean screaming crips. But you know what I mean? They don't know that that's affected our children. You know wow. what I'm saying? Me, Nipsey Hussle said it himself, man, Snoop, the reason why I wanted to be a Crip. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Let your audience need to say, I ain't trying to cut no, you off. No, go ahead. Listen, man, you had East Coast versus West Coast. Yeah. Death Row versus Best Bad Boy. Yeah. No Limit, Cash Money, and so on and so forth, right? You had all these record labels, you know, uh, Dipset, and rock, rock, you know, rock, you know, yeah, Jay Z, yeah, Jay Z, all right, this, yeah. all this stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? That's divisive. It is. Why do you think the word hip hop and fraternity? I can show you. I got the trademark. They just officially approved it today. I've been fighting for it for two years. Wow. Why do you think it was available? Because they never intended for niggas to come together. You know what I'm saying? Me, yeah. all those executives up there, they they feed our children debauchery and filth. You know what I mean? They let them talk about everything. They let them talk about killing. They let them talk about gangs. They you know they 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 promote gang. Uh, they, like they get a little Wayne three hundred million for putting a tattoo on his face and a red a red red rag in his pocket. They get Snoop Dogg hundreds of millions of dollars of screaming bloods and crips. I mean screaming crips. But you know what I mean? They don't know that that's affected our children. You know wow. what I'm saying? I mean, Nipsey Hussle said it himself, man, Snoop, the reason why I wanted to be a Crip. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's brothers out here, they bloods because Wayne is a blood. Because everybody else that's, that's right. rich is blood. So remember when we was young, we wanted to be Crips. Right? No, 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 we, no, we, no, we, we wanted to be, when we was young, what we wanted to be? We wanted to be Dr. J. Yeah, yeah Dr. J. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but, Ir Julius Irving, yeah. Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Charles Barkley. Charles, Charles Barkley. Barkley. Nah, not Charles Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now these kids, they see these rappers rich and having their way, they want to be rich. So they say, okay, to be, uh, 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 get a hundred million, I got to put a tattoo on my face, I got to go to jail, I got to, you know, shoot up the block, I got to shoot the ops up. This is the narrative that's been fed. You know, from the top down. But I know you're telling the truth because when I said people want to be Crips, it was a time when Snoop and them first came out, everybody was trying to be on that Crip wave. And then now, once once, once Lil Wayne, like you just said, everybody that red, like, now. you notice that whole wave? I seen the whole wave change to everybody want to be Crips at first, and then, then they tried to be and Bloods. You look after, at, you after, that wave after hip hop. Now. But, 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 but if you look at them, look at the kids, man. They look so innocent. Yeah, they straight killers. Mm -hmm. these, yeah, these are kids we used to be like. You know, we would see them walk. We like, oh, that's that's little Johnny. He's a good kid. I mean, clean cut. You know, nice looking guys. Yeah. You know, look like they got a future. Look like you know, life going to do them well. And they just straight killers. Straight killers. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and innocent. they don't respect no older. Even if you were street when you was younger, and you come back, they're like, who are you? They don't yeah. know you. But they the, don't care. Well, I, they don't do respect. I, I, I kind of beg you. They they respect me. That's what I was you about to saying? say. Certain leaders that get in position that they look up to because they know the foundation was built correctly. When you can relate to a pimp and kin who have been locked up, who have been in these situations, they'll respect that because they know. No but they know so that all the young they, kids know you. No, the ones Listen, that that he's if you, been crazy if you walk with me through the mall or around some young people, you would be totally apart. These young people, it, we go to Big T's right now. I'm talking about from, oh, 18, from 18 to 80. They love me. Did you, you know what I'm saying? Because they know I'm real, mommy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm That's a real, real dude. You know what I'm saying? Me like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm different. You know what I mean? Like, I don't act Hollywood or Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm I'm just different. You know what I mean? And you know, God just blessed me with a good spirit, man, to never try to, you know, because I always believe that, you know, your ego is your say worst amigo. Let, let me say you know this. Lil Ronnie said when he was on here that he used to say, man, I used to go over there and see Pippa Ken, man, he mm -hmm. showed me so much love. We met, man, a big team. And my Man, he loved it, man. He brought you up on the show. Another kid, I talked to a kid earlier today, a youngster, 3G Slash. He said, man, we was at South by Southwest in 2017, man, and I dropped my necklace, man. We was running. I gave him back to him. He said, and Pippa Ken gave me yeah, that gave necklace back, back bro. I say, he said, man, he probably don't, he don't, he yeah, remember. I remember, man. I remember. I remember. I remember. I'm serious. I mean, you remember. know, Slash, Slash, yeah. he it was, gave it was like a little doughboy. It was yeah, a doughboy. Yeah. That's it. it. That's a doughboy my boy. piece. That's yeah. It. yeah, so, so uh, you know, uh, they was some shooting or something. That's what it is. And, and, and niggas just ran out, and, 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 and the girl, 
she fell and she grabbed this chain yeah. and, it, and it fell out. So I chased him down and said, man, dog, you lost your chain. And it probably was worth about 40, 50,000. Yeah, yeah you know that's what, I mean? what type of dude and he is. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just, it ain't got nothing to do with me trying to get, because I didn't know he was going to say this. This is yeah. what, no, two we, years ago. No, yeah, I told yeah. him. That's, that's, that's but good. That's it. cool for you to, because some people would have seen that fell and took it and pocketed or took it and sold it or whatever. This nigga and real, man. It, and you ran after him and gave it back to him. A lot of people wouldn't even do but that. I can't, I can't, you want me to tell you how many murders I didn't stop? You know what I'm saying? I mean, how many <laughs> niggas I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't saved. You know what I'm saying? I mean, niggas, I kept from getting stabbed in the penitentiary. See, they don't they, they don't know these things about me because I don't want no credit for them. You know, that's why the people that's my friends that's been down with me, they still cool with me. I don't have a jealous bone in my body. My partner, he got a million dollars for property. We was on the phone today. My man, JD, I'm studying praising him. Like, bro, you doing good, man. Woo, 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 woo. And he want to hear it. He don't want to hang up because he said, damn, it's a nigga that ain't hating. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Me, damn, I always tell them good stuff, man. You know, you, you got to keep, you know, even when they go crazy, I tell them, man, listen. I said, man, dude, you fucking up, man. You know what I'm saying? Me, quit talking to motherfuckers. They, everything you see behind my back going to come back to me. I said, don't trust these motherfuckers. They're going to put you in a twist. So, you know what I'm saying? Me, instead of saying, nigga, fuck you, I don't fuck with you no more, I'm, I'm addressing the situation. Like, bro, I understand. I know you didn't meant that shit. Motherfuckers will talk to you, they'll get you caught up in some shit. And next thing you know, you talking and you don't really realize that you're, gossiping right, right. and you're participating right. in another hater's affair. Mm -hmm. This nigga's a fucking he hater, but he ain't got you yet, yeah, you know? And you know, like, I got a thing I'm gonna do called Little little Dude and Little Mama. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people got the Little Dude and Little Mama complex. So Little Dude, right, he's a, he's a rapper. You know, he get out there, you know, he got a successful song. You know, he, he blow him up. The DJ's playing his music. The nigga get all the way to, you know, High 97. You know what I'm saying? I mean, then he go shoot up the block. You know, mm. little dude complex, you know, self-sabotage. Right. You know, little mama, you know what I'm saying, me, you know, she been messing with crazy niggas all her life. You got three, four baby daddies, mm. you know what I'm saying, me. She meet a gentleman at the mall, you know what I'm saying, me, who compliments her and tell her how beautiful she is. And then he start taking her out to eat. He start opening the door for her. You know, he, he doing all the men thing that women talking about men don't ever do. What she do? Her baby daddy call her, you know what I'm sure. saying, me, for a booty call. She go get a right booty right. call. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And now, you know what I'm saying? Me, he's tripping, and now she, little mama is self sabotage, and she ain't with this dude no more. I got two questions for you. Um, the first one is you go through a lot of situations. You have a lot of people who have bit you in the back over the period of time. How do you learn how to trust somebody again? Do well, you, you trust anybody around you? Well, you know, I, I got to say, most people start at your feet and they end up at your throat. You know, whoever can do you good can also do you harm. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the least, least appearance of evil, expect the greatest amount of danger. That's my principle. So me having that understanding, right. I got what you call the 25% bullshit. You know, I get everybody 25% of bullshit. You can bullshit me up to 25%. You get past 25%, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you, know, you know, bad news might beat you home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, let's keep it at a minimum, you know what I'm saying? But don't try to go too far, don't go overboard with the bullshit. So, you know what I mean? Even with women, you know, I deal with women, I expect a certain amount of bullshit. You know, I mean, I know I'm not meeting you, I'm meeting your representative. This is not really you, the makeup and, you know, all that stuff is all that, but you know, when it come down to it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you're living on three cans and a 40 ounce. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I you got 90 kids. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, your, your refrigerator, your house is dirty. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you, you, you can expect that. But when you see her in the club, you know, she look like uh, Miss Universe. You know, she look like, you know, like she need to be in Look Magazine. She look like her mama should have had triplets. She's so fine. But, you know what I'm saying, when you really meet the person, and the same thing with these dudes. Everybody, Ken, man, I die for you. I woo, 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 woo. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.